and thanks to uh, AEE for uh, inviting me here. Um, it is um, really a privilege to be in this opening session with Senator Sessions and uh, Ms. Callahan and, uh, of course, Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now, let's be honest. This guy gets away with saying anything he wants. I mean, he really does, right? Which is great. I wanted to ask him if he drove a Toyota or a Lexus, and I think his answer would have been, well, does it come with a big gun on it? Is that an option I can get? Is this the first time for any of you to be at this conference? It, it is mine. And um, I'm sure you're gonna learn a lot of things today, but one of the things I didn't think I was gonna learn from Governor Schwarzenegger's speech was how to be just a little bit more sexy. <laughs> so it, it's worth the trip, because I need all the help I can get. Well, good morning. Um, I am Jim Bolte, and I'm the uh, president of our Alabama engine plant, but I'm also the North American environmental champion for Toyota manufacturing. And I'd like to just tell you a little bit, some practical things we're doing that maybe could be takeaways for you today. We have a significant manufacturing presence in North America, consisting of 15 manufacturing plants four R&D sites, and our corporate headquarters near Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky. We have about 29 million square feet under roof. Let's look at the impact we've had on our communities in 2012. We've had $27 billion in total investments, 39,000 jobs. We've produced over uh, 1.75 million vehicles and we've had $26 billion in local purchases. Our total investment and impact in the community is quite large. Over the last two years, we've invested more than $2.1 million, billion dollars, in our North American operations, and we've been able to commit to add an additional 4,000 employees. We continue to design and develop and build engines and vehicles locally. In fact, currently we produce 12 vehicles in North America and are the exclusive source for the Sienna, the Tundra, the Matrix, and the Avalon. And in 2016, just recently announced, we'll start building the Lexus ES350 at our Kentucky plant in Georgetown. This will be the only the second Lexus manufactured in North America. So what exactly is environmental sustainability? And as you can see, uh, that means a lot of things to a lot of different people, such as renewable, composting, eco-friendly, go green. It seems everyone has their own personal view of what sustainability means. So what about Toyota? What does environmental sustainability mean to us in North America? Well, we focus on environmental issues because this is the area that we can impact. This infographic shows our new North American environmental sustainability focus areas, which include biodiversity, water, materials, and carbon. So what I'd like to do is just give you some examples of some of the things we're doing in each of these areas. Let's start with biodiversity. Toyota has many programs in place to support the balance of biodiversity on and near our different facilities across North America. Our goal is to reestablish and maintain natural harmony in the communities where we live, work, and play. For example, our plant in Indiana has spent the last five years implementing an afforestation program where we converted 
mowed grass fields into a forest. Our goal is to plant over 125,000 trees by the end of next year. Through this project, we've created habitat for species such as white-tailed deer and red-tailed hawks. All of the tree seedlings are locally grown, and over 90,000 native tree species have been planted on 160 acres. We also support selective biodiversity projects that are really pretty far away from our plants. For example, we restored over one million acres of northern Great Plains prairies. And by working with Native American Indians and the U.S. government and cattle ranchers and World Wildlife Fund, we helped to develop a new federal park and we reintroduced 5,000 head of buffalo. So now let's talk about water. Everyone knows the real value of water. That's why we're working hard to reduce the amount we use while protecting the water bodies we rely on. At our North American operations, we're saving about 61 million gallons of water each year by implementing reverse osmosis concentrate recovery systems. This is 61 million gallons that we don't have to withdraw from an aquifer or buy from a utility. These systems are being shared from one plant to the next, and each time it gets better and better. So just exactly how much is 61 million gallons of water? Well, that's the equivalent of about 92 olympic size swimming pools that we're saving every year. So now, what about materials? We continually work to reduce the amount of materials used to produce a vehicle, and that reduces the amount of waste generated. A great example of this comes from our Canada plant in Cambridge. Our North American manufacturing headquarters selected three Kaizans. Kaizen is a Japanese word meaning continuous improvement. A sealer re reclaimed system project developed at our Canada plant was selected as one of those three Kaizans. Their goal was to reduce the uh, volume of excess sealer in the paint shop, which ended up as waste. Team members developed a system to capture this excess sealer. This one improvement reduced sealer waste by 97%, which eliminated 72 barrels of hazardous waste per year. It's the only known automated system at Toyota that can reuse sealer on robot lines. And we've shared this Kaizen with all of our other plants. Another example of how we reduce waste is our North American parts operation uses over 65,000 reusable metal shipping containers in place of cardboard and wood. These metal containers are used to move parts between distribution centers, dealers, and suppliers. Annually, we avoid the use of 220 million pounds of wood and 145 million pounds of cardboard by using these re uh, reusable containers. So this savings represents over 1.9 million trees per year that are not being cut down because of these reusable containers. And now we've come to the primary environmental focus for us, and that's carbon. And when we talk about carbon, it includes some very large and very material issues such as vehicle fuel economy, renewable energy, as well as energy use and greenhouse gas emissions from our North American operations. Carbon is a very big deal for us. We reached a milestone at the end of March this year when global hybrid sales topped the five million mark. Our global fleet of 20 hybrid models 
has resulted in an estimated 34 million fewer tons of CO2 emissions than those emitted by regular gasoline-powered uh, vehicles. And in North America alone, we sold over 2 million Toyota and Lexus hybrid vehicles. The U.S. Um, EPA presented us with its ninth consecutive Energy Star Partner of the Year Sustained Excellence Award for our continued leadership in protecting the environment through superior energy efficiency. This is the most times the award's been given to any automaker in the U.S. Our North American plants establish annual targets for each fiscal year to improve energy intensity per vehicle produced. MMBTU is used for this target as a way to combine several energy sources, including electricity and natural gas, into a single metric. We exceeded our target this past fiscal year, and we've recorded a reduction of almost 5 million MMBTUs in 2013. In the last 10 years, we've saved 36 million MMBTUs, and that equates to over $400 million in energy savings. This $400 million could power 27,000 average households for 10 years. Our Mississippi plant in Blue Springs has used innovative design and best practice techniques from other Toyota facilities to become the most energy efficient Toyota plant in the region. It's our newest plant in the U.S. Community members and local utility companies joined the plant to celebrate Earth Day by powering on their new solar array. This solar array is the fourth largest in the state of Mississippi and will generate 50 kilowatts of peak energy, enough to power approximately seven average households for the entire year. The power generated by the solar array will be redirected back to the local utility company which ultimately transfers back onto the grid for public use. In June, solar powers were installed on a new PV carport at our plant in Mexico. The new carport canopy, which covers a portion of the parking lot, will harness the sun's energy to reduce carbon emissions by more than 28 tons per year. This system generates daily renewable electricity equivalent to the daily energy requirements of about 15 homes there in Mexico. Typically, the power produced from a project like this is sold back to the local power company, but in this case, we're actually using it inside our facility. Our plants in Mississippi and Huntsville, Alabama have been identified as the two North American sustainable plants. The term sustainable plant refers to the ability of the facility to exist in harmony with the environment. Such plants can operate for more than 100 years with a drastically reduced environmental impact. Now achieving this depends on three things, utilizing Kaizen or continuous improvement, using renewable energy, and the involvement of stakeholders and community leaders. Here you can see the plan for our sustainable plant in Alabama. These projects will improve our facilities' environmental performance and allow us to pilot innovative environmental technologies. Our Indiana plan has been working on a system that conditions air to make their paint booth more energy efficient. Paul Houchin, shown in this picture, led two projects, one of which helped the plant earn this year's AEE's Region 3 Energy Project of the Year. The first project came about when we realized the conditioned air in the plant's general assembly area could be captured, then used in the paint booths before being discharged by exhaust fans. Recycling the building air reduces the need to draw in fresh, 
outside air by 40 percent. And that reduces natural gas consumption and the plant's CO2 footprint by almost 9,000 metric tons per year. The winning project was paint booth downdraft reduction, which had an annual savings of over $1 million with zero equipment modifications. Paul will present the results of this paint booth downdraft project this afternoon on track K1. So I encourage you to look for that. Another example of CO2 reduction efforts is where our Canada Woodstock plant installed a cooling system that uses outside air to chill water during the cold season. This reduced energy use by nearly 2%, which resulted in a savings of more than $100,000 annually. Hedo Devram will be presenting this project tomorrow morning on track K2. Additionally, our Canada Cambridge plant installed a linkageless boiler burner controls, improving boiler efficiency by more than 15% and saving more than $112,000 annually. Our plants in Indiana and Kentucky, well, we saved $2.5 million annually with the installation of a high-pressure spray humidification system in the paint booth. Our Canada plant in Woodstock will be implementing this project this fall. And Brian Myers will be presenting this project on track K1 this afternoon. Part of our philosophy is to be transparent, open, and willing at Toyota to share practices and ideas with everyone, including our competitors. We encourage you to attend our energy project presentations today and tomorrow to learn more details about what we're doing. Kaizen, as I mentioned, means continuous improvement, and it's it's, it's an idea that we can learn from each other, new innovative things both ways. So as environmental champion for Toyota North America, I believe that when good ideas are shared, great things can happen. We've got a great team of Toyota people here today, this, this conference, and I hope you'll get a chance to talk to them and share your good ideas with them and Let's learn from each other. Let's collaborate on how we can do better for our companies, our customers, and our environment. So if you have any questions about this presentation or any questions to Toyota, please see us during lunchtime or at any of the breakout sessions. We'd be happy to discuss with you. It's been a pleasure being with you here today. Uh, thank you very much.